Nerd alert. You guys are all nerds. Yeah, son's acting weird. I'm acting weird. You're acting weird. Everybody's acting weird. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Thor News presents... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Comet of the Century adventure. I'm your host, Thor. Thor News. So let's get this wild and strange party started. Alright y'all, it's crazy. That comma I was talking about six months. Telling y'all, hey watch this comet. It's gonna be a cool comet. I can tell. Cause I'm using the force, cause yes I'm a Jedi. I don't know if you know this. I worked on a feature film, side by side, with the guy who directed Empire Strikes Back. Let me move away from that non sequitur to give you some hard science. Well, actually, there's not a lot of hard science in this. You're talking about the Comet Catalina, Comet US-10 Catalina is already creating some beautiful images and soon it might be visible to the naked eye that is wonderful and you know one reason i love this comet because when scientists first found it they were like oh my god it is giant asteroid 30 miles in size and it's got a six-year orbit. It's a centaur. You know, like those centaurs, they said that come around and kill everything on the planet every 40 to 100,000 years. Yeah, scientists were just talking about that. I'm covering it in one of my next videos. It'll be a real uplifting family video. You know? Oh yeah, Sass was like, oh yeah, I remember when we said it was giant and it had a six year orbit? We slightly recalculated and we found out that it was tiny and it has a one million year orbit. So it's like, I don't know, you guys are smoking, but uh, I hope you're not driving. So yeah, Comet Catalina. Hopefully, you can see it. At the moment, it's near Arcturus. Yeah, so just kind of look kind of north of Arcturus. See if you can find it. I'll go look on the Canadian France Hawaii Telescope. So now I gotta fill in a bunch of filler here because there's not much I can say other than this is a really cool comet. Unfortunately, it doesn't get close enough to Earth that we get a bunch of really kick-ass fear-mongering YouTube videos that say everybody's gonna die or alien spaceships are coming to harvest our organs or our gold and our oil. When and where should I begin to look? Oh crap! Awesome! They have some words and stuff I can read, so I don't have to just do filler. Dumb crap. The comet has been in our pre dawn sky throughout the past month. It's like a morning star. Its brightness has been pretty steady. As the new year begins, it will gradually become a night sky object. The comet was closest to the sun, perihelion, November 15th. So it is moving away from the sun now, 
but it's still drawing closer to the Earth. Excellent. On January 17th, 2016, Comet Catalina will be at its closest point to Earth about some 68 million miles away. But that's just a rock skip and a jump in celestial terms. That's in contrast to the moon's distance about a quarter million miles. Whatever, man. Math's stupid. If you ever hear anybody trying to use math, just get up in their face. And if you have a bullhorn, be sure and use that and just go, you're stupid. We wouldn't have like 99% of the problems on Earth right now if we didn't have any math. You realize that, right? Aster, all that stuff. <sighs> Pictures are cool, right? That I'm showing you. The fact that I said five months ago before anybody was saying this comet's going to be awesome, I was like, hey, this comet's going to be awesome. So give me points for that. But I go ahead and down thumbs in. I know it gives you a boner and then confetti flies out of your individual pleasure receptacators or whatever. And you know what's weird is I imagine that 95% of all trolls are men. You know? Yeah, I'm sure women waste Damn, on dumb shit too, but I don't think it's trolling. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to offend the boob trollers. Troll boobers! I don't know what that is, but I should definitely make something that's a troll boob and then troll boobers and then put it up on my I sell shit page. Man, if I want to make $20 million like Alex Jones, I need to come up with some type of chemical that I can sell you that you will take. And if, and if a nuclear war happens, you will live. Or if a nuclear war happens and you die, it's not like you're going to come get me and ask for your money back or something. Alright, this video is going to get me fired. By all reports, Gamma Catalina has never risen above magnitude 6, which is the limit of visibility to the naked eye. But it has hovered just above that limit. The moon was full on Christmas, meaning that light was flooding the sky. So that, what will Comet Catalina look like? Well, we've learned anything, and it'll either look like some weird giant space demigod or a spaceship. It definitely won't look anything like a dirty snowball. Comets are like alien cats. You never know what they're going to do next, except lick something, eat something, and give you dirty looks. If you ever come across a black, alien, dirty snowball cat, do not cross its path. And here's what's great. Like, it's January 3rd. It's January 4th, and I'm already getting all of my worst videos out of the way. So we can just prep the way for nothing but pure awesome. Hey NASA, if you like it and you want it, put the hobble on it. Nah, just kidding. That thing just takes crappy photos of comets anyways. Telescopes will provide a better view. 
even while observing visually with a telescope, you will not see the green color of the comet, which represents the crap is that shit. And remember, it's the green some type of which represents a cynogen, the main ingredients for cyanide. But remember, comets don't kill you. Comet pills kill you. This bizarre message brought to you by the Philip Plate Conservation for Government Fixing Climate Change. Or whatever. Man, I hope my sense of humor comes back. Com cameras are more sensitive than the human eye. That's a stupid sentence, man. My eyeballs are really sensitive. Like, even if a tiny little piece of dirt gets in it, I'm like, ow! And I'm start blinking like crazy. And, yeah, like. I don't know, I can flick my camera a million times and it don't even move. Yeah. So saying that like cameras are more sensitive than eyeballs, like, jeez, man. No wonder you don't ever get to make out with any chicks, dude. You should try some interacting with human beings. Wait a second. The sun's been going crazy. People have been going crazy. Like, a lot of people have been being assholes lately. So maybe, maybe you're doing fine. You know. Who am I to judge? But visual observers using telescopes in December 2015 might be able to glimpse a hint of Comet Catalina's green coma or cometary atmosphere. And by the way, the green color we see in comets is from gases like Diatomic carbon. Cynogen, uh, bro. Totally cynogen. I did all my research. Cynogen, bro. I didn't see no diatomic. I mean, you're not wrong. You're just not 100% right. You know what I'm saying? But neither am I. Neither is anybody. Nobody's ever right all the time. It was discovered October 31st, 2013. So yes, it is an evil comet. But evil is relative and subjective. So yeah, just kind of look here our Tourist for now. And I'll try and do another less just got off vacation video. When is the next predicted comet visible to the eye alone? The next predicted comet that will reach visibility to the unaided eye? And be really easy to spot. It's comet 46P returning in. It will appear as a sky gift for Christmas of 2018. I didn't know that. I never heard that before. Interesting. I smell another video coming up about another comet. And that is Comet Wertenen. Sweet. 
Although Comet 46P may show a magnitude of 3 or 4, there is always the possibility that a newly found comet will provide a good celestial show prior to that time. Hey, yeah, especially if like a hundred thousand centaur comets the size with 30 mile nucleus zip past Earth and smash into it, man. Like, like scientists said last week. I didn't say it. I'm not fear mongering. They said it. They said it's a possibility. They, 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 they said it would definitely wouldn't happen this week, this month, but they didn't give a date. They just said any time between now and 40,000 to 100,000 years. It's all relative. Was this video good? It's all relative. Did you enjoy it? I have no clue, dude. Can't read your mind. I'm awesome, but you want mind reading, you, you need to ask my girlfriend. If I mention I have the best girlfriend in the universe, even if it occasionally leads to intoxication. What? Man. Talking about comets. Why are you going on about alcoholics and shit? Global warming has caused more alcoholism in society. A new study released by scientists at the University of Michigan says. Now that is hilarious. Oh, uh, look at Science Boy here saying, A Tale of Two Tales. Actually, I think it has three tales. There's nothing better than when astronomers write poetry. Nerd alert. You guys are all nerds. It's okay. I'm king of the... Geeks, the dorks, and the nerds. And my rule is passive. So be cool, stay cool. God bless everybody, and I apologize for this video.